Okay, so Judges 6 is carrying on about Midian. And all the Midianites and the Amalekites, these are the enemies of Israel, uh, and the people of the east assembled themselves together, and they crossed over and encamped in the valley of Jezreel. But the spirit of Yahweh came upon Gideon. Now, Yahweh, who's Yahweh? God. Good boy, Daniel, God. So then, Yahweh is God's name. God's got a name, and his name is Yahweh. But the spirit, what's the spirit of God? What would you say the spirit of God is? Maybe, uh, what's the Holy Spirit? Uh -huh. The Spirit of God uh -huh. is the power. power. Power of God. So, the Spirit of Yahweh, the power of God, came upon Gideon and he blew a trumpet, and Abiezer was gathered together after him. So God gave Gideon his power, his spirit, to do a specific thing at a specific time. And he sent messengers throughout all Manasseh, and they also were gathered together after him, and he sent messengers to Asher, to Zebulun, and to Naphtali. These are the different tribes of, of Israel. And they came up to meet them. Gideon said to God, Daniel, if you will save Israel by my hand, as you have spoken, I will put a fleece of wool on the threshing floor. Now what's a fleece, Sylvia? It's a kind of... It's a wool of a sheep. That's right, the wool of a sheep, that's right. I will put a fleece of wool on the threshing floor. If there is dew, that's the water that comes down early in the morning, if there is dew on the fleece only and it's dry on all the ground, then I will know that you will save Israel by my hand as you have said. So really Gideon should have believed what God said, but he was like all of us, he was a bit weak. So when you think that, well, I'm a bit weak, I believe in God, but I've got my doubts and please show me. Well, Gideon was like that. I remember yesterday we read that the angel appeared to Gideon and said, Hey you, Gideon, you mighty warrior, you mighty man of valor. And he said, No, I'm not like that. And that's just how we feel. That no, I'm not so strong. But God knows <clears throat> that what we're capable of, what we can be. So he says, I'll put a fleece of wool on the threshing floor, and if there's dew on the fleece only, and it be dry on all the ground, then I will know that you will save Israel by my hand as you have said. And that is what happened, for he got up early the next day, and squeezed the fleece together, and wrung the dew out of the fleece, a bowl full of water. So that's lots and lots of water. Gideon said to God, Don't let your anger be kindled against me, and I will speak but this once. That's just what Abraham said to God when he was trying to reason with God about not destroying Sodom. He said the same, don't let your anger be hot against me and I'll speak just once more. So Gideon knew about Abraham and he was copying Abraham's example. Now there we are today reading about Gideon, Abraham or Daniel, all these men. And we've got to try to follow their example. So in the middle of our lives, we think, but Gideon did that, Gideon said that, Abraham did that. So Gideon said to God, don't let your anger be kindled against me, and I will speak but this once. Please let me make a trial just this once more with the fleece. Let it now be dry only on the fleece, and on all the ground let there be dew. And God did so that night, for it was dry on the fleece only, and there was dew on all the ground. So, that showed him that God was going to be with him. But later on, when he came to attack the Midianites, he still feared, and him and one of his men, Fular, they went down to the Midianite army, and they overheard how the Midianite soldiers were scared of them. So, it just shows that it's not wrong to have doubts. If you, when Jesus was on the cross, do you remember what he said at the end? He said, my God, my God, 
why have you left me? So, he had questions. And that's part of our faith in God. Because faith in God means to trust God. And if we trust God, it means we're still going to have questions. It's not all going to be perfectly clear. But we trust him, even though we don't understand. And that's what happened with Gideon. He was a weak person, like we are weak. But he was made strong because God trusted him to do his work.